What's going on YouTube? It's a, another All of Max video and once again always sorry for not posting a video but um yeah I don't really have an excuse for it but I have something pretty awesome to show you guys. This is a briefcase. <sighs> not really though. Um but there's something very interesting inside of it and we'll just go ahead and open it up and Oh, kind of lead you on a little bit here before I do open it. And the case does kind of resemble something that could be inside of it, just with the two tone color and the translucent handles. Could be something interesting. Let's see what's inside. Though. <laughs> yes, this is a iBook G3 clamshell a graphite model. I ended up getting this a couple days ago. Um, this had been posted for a very long time on my local Craigslist. And that's one thing I like about Craigslist now is not a lot of people use Craigslist anymore. People use, you know, obviously they either go online to order their stuff or if they're doing local, they use a lot of people use apps like Letgo or... Um, some of the other ones I'm not sure I can't or offer up or the main one now people I feel like use is Facebook Marketplace it's the one I use a lot and Craigslist is kind of you know people still post on there but it's not as big as it was you know I would say 10 years ago obviously because that was like the main local buy sell and trade type deal on a web page other than like um, your local listings and newspapers and stuff like that, which yes, that used to be a thing people used to Advertise and offer up for stuff for sale and stuff like that in newspapers I'm sure some people might do it, but I haven't looked at a newspaper in a long time, so I don't know But anyways getting back to the story this guy had it posted on there for a very long time and I at first he had it for like 200 I think $50 he was asking for it originally and you know it came with a charger it came with this cool bag and all that and, and the pictures we'll get to how the condition is because it's very it's in very good condition the pictures didn't really show too much it was kind of blurry but at first I was like yeah I don't really have $250 to spend on an iBook even though that's not ter actually a terrible deal and especially it depends which model of graphite it is but um you know as of right now iBooks are going from on the low end a hundred dollars for a working unit if you're lucky to like upwards of two to three hundred dollars just depending on the condition and what comes with it so they're obviously collectible at this point they've been collectible for a while but the price is rising on them so 250 bucks not a terrible deal but i was like yeah i don't have the money i can't really afford to do it and i waited and i checked a couple days ago it had been like a month or something since i had checked it and it was still there and he had lowered it to 200 dollars. so even at that point i still like it's not because if i had the money to just blow 200 dollars, i'd probably just do it but unfortunately i'm always looking for a deal or um falling on a budget so I was like I can't do it for $200 I was like let me just shoot him an offer and see what he says I shoot him, shot him an offer for 140 which I felt was very reasonable for how long it had been listed on there for and just because he hadn't sold it yet and he instantly t accepted my offer he said for me to come look at it i did ask him at first i was like you know because he had mentioned it turned on but he didn't say if it had an operating system or what happened because sometimes people will go and take the hard drive out even though in these models it's or not clamshell it's i wouldn't say super difficult but it is a pain because you have to take apart pretty much the whole computer to get to the um hard drive there's a lot of unscrewing to do <laughs> but um yeah i asked him a simple question i was like does it boot up to an operating system and he kind of responded to me as like he didn't know he wasn't a computer freak as he <laughs> mentioned it and that's not my words that's his words and i was gonna like say something but i was like eh, whatever i'm like he might be an older guy i don't know he probably just doesn't care 
And I was like, whatever. I'm like, it's fine. I'll just come look at it. No big deal. So I get there. Um, he gives me a little backstory about it. He said that his friend, his uh, friend that was a doctor, used it. Obviously, he had purchased it. His friend had purchased it back in the day, probably in around 2000, something around there. And he was using it for a bit, and he just used it for a little bit and kind of just put it away. And it had basically been sitting in his garage in a case for a while up until maybe like three years ago when they said or my the dude that sold me this said and they went and cleaned out his garage and he found this and the guy was like you know go ahead and take it like you guys help me clean out my garage you can just have it and also the guy was like telling me he's like the first thing i went to do was look on ebay to see what kind of price it would go for and i was like oh god here we go the old ebay prices <laughs> And, you know, he was like, yeah, I've seen them, you know, people listing them for like three to four hundred dollars. And I was like, yeah, I'm like, you know, obviously they're rare and I'm not going to say like I wasn't going to tell them like, you know, they're not worth a good amount of money. But I was like, you know, just because somebody listed it for four hundred dollars doesn't mean somebody's going to pay for four hundred dollars, especially if I could list it for a thousand dollars. It doesn't make it worth a thousand dollars. At some point, these probably will be worth, you know. Um, I don't know, in the near future, they would be worth a thousand dollars, but they're getting up there. So, you know, they're in the two to three hundred dollar range, um, for a well, good working one. But anyways, you know, obviously he said he had multiple offers in the past for like 250 and he had just turned it down because he thought he was going to give it to his kids and he thought they could like game on it or something like that. And kids don't want it they probably were just like oh it's old i don't want it or something like that and he ended up just holding on to it and basically just sold it to me but um we'll go ahead and take it out of the case here. and i always forget how these things are kind of heavy So looking on it through the camera, I mean, I don't know if it's going to pick it up very well, but I mean, and this is when I, when he opened it out of the bag, it, it just shocked me on how clean this thing was. Like I've never had a clamshell probably this clean that didn't have like any like real dings on the um, rubber. I mean, the only real issue is that like right here, the rubber's kind of like warped, I guess. So it's kind of stretched out a bit, but other than that, it's not like terrible. That's not something that bothers me. The only thing that really would have bothered me at first is I thought when he showed the picture or when I looked at it online, I thought the uh, logo or like the leaf was missing, which is not a big deal, but that's like a common issue that these have. And I was like, oh, I'm like, I don't know. I'm like, I can't really tell. But when I obviously looked at it, I mean, it is clean. There's not a scratch literally on the case at all. Like, uh, this guy is probably, whatever he said was probably true. The guy ended up using it for a little bit and just put it in a case and never thought about it again. So we'll go ahead and open it up. And yes, very clean. I mean, there's like, I would say there's no yellowing on the case itself. The keyboard, uh, it's like a tinted color. I'm not sure if that's just the normal color because I know these were a little bit slightly different, but it's nothing crazy. I mean, it's definitely very clean. There's no marks on the screen, nothing like that. My last one I had was a tangerine model, which I have a video of that's from a long time ago. And I did a lot of work to that when I upgraded it with a better hard drive. I put 10.4 on it. I did a lot of stuff to that one. And... And the battery was actually very good on that too at the time. It was giving me like a three hour charge. And I ended up getting rid of that a long time ago. And I never thought about getting an iBook after that. And up until now, this was the only one that recently came available. And for 140 bucks, you can't pass it up. These things are getting harder and harder to find and the price just keeps going up. Also a cool thing, probably might've seen it already in the video, but yo-yo adapter, very clean looking. It's always nice to just get the original power supply. Usually a lot of them will come with aftermarket supplies, which are not bad, but some of them can be iffy. But um, 
it does have a battery installed and at first I thought there was a little hope for it because it took a very long time for it to charge. It took about like three hours for it to actually get fully charged. And I was like, okay, that might be a decent sign that it might hold somewhat of a charge. And it does a little bit. It holds maybe like a 20 minute charge, which is expected for these computers. You can't really demand too much out of them. And there's a site, I think, Newegg, that sells a brand or they claim to be brand new. It's probably new old stock um, uh, batteries. And they sell them. I saw a video on them. Some guy, I forgot why I would shout out the dude's name <laughs> I forgot the video but um you just look up iBook battery replacement he's one of the main ones you'll see but he bought it from Newegg and it was $60 and then I think they took it down at one point but now they've relisted it and it's $80 now and I know in his video he the first battery he got um was defective it like charged and you know powered through and everything but Every cycle he went through, the battery would get worse and worse, and he ended up having to get a replacement, which he has claimed that that was fine. They ended up sending him a replacement for free, and it ended up working great, so who knows? That might be something down the road I might get, just because this is in very nice condition. But we'll kind of go around the side here real quick. Um, you know, you got your DVD drive, so this does have a DVD drive in it, and if obviously you can't already tell, this is the last model of the clamshell. This is the special edition that they released at the end of the lifespan of the clamshell. It does have the Firewire 400 port along with the rest of the ports that it came standard. So this is the 466 megahertz SE model. And there's two different colors that they released in this. They released graphite and they released lime, a uh, key lime, which I believe obvious, I think for collecting the key lime is a, a little bit more popular and a, um, I think a lot more harder to find. Um, I do like the key lime. That was always one I wanted in the past just because it's a very vibrant uh, lime color. It stands out a lot. The graphite's very cool too. This was probably one of my other ones that I wanted to get at one point just because it has that this was the model they basically made for you know the business professional because they had the fun colors like blueberry, tangerine, indigo. Well, indigo was more of a serious, I feel like, color. And then they had the key lime, of course. But then they had graphite. I feel like graphite and the indigo were the two, like, more, like, I guess, big boy colors. Uh, graphite being more so than any of them just because they probably wanted to appeal to a business market as well. Not just like the home consumer and education market because these were really big for education purposes and stuff like that. But we'll go ahead and turn it on. Let it boot up here. So it does have airport, uh, airport card installed, which is pretty much useless for me just because my Wi-Fi won't, I cannot connect to it through my Wi-Fi just because it's newer and this is rocking a wireless B connectivity and if I did have access to my internet I could probably change the settings to set it to WPA to where I could get access to it but um I live in a college style apartment so I don't have access to my internet provider it's all run through the apartment complex so unfortunately I cannot get that but as you can see, it loads in, and the beginning, it has a little globe thing that's flashing, and I'm, ass I'm assuming it was made for, it was looking for a network, because this was probably connected to some kind of network at that, I'm assuming the hospital, or wherever the, wherever the dude worked at, because I've noticed if you have it plugged into Ethernet, it will not boot up, it will just flash on the, um, it will flash on that globe and it will not boot into anything and it'll just keep flashing. So I'm thinking it's looking for like the network to connect to when it's doing that, when you have an ethernet core or ethernet hooked up to it. But obviously you can hook that up afterwards, it's not a big deal. But um, as you can see, it's loading into 10.3.9, which is not the max for the system. And the max is gonna be 10.4.11 Tiger, which is the last for the power piece. Oh no, last is 10.5 spoke almost too soon and if you're wondering what my background is we'll take a little closer look here and 
you might be right. That is the Hello Nurse from Animaniacs. <laughs> and that's just kind of in celebration of the uh, new Animani Animaniacs being released on Hulu, which I watched the whole season. It's fairly good. Uh, I do like it. Um, there's some stuff that I don't really like care for. I feel like they, you know, they go with the times. Animaniacs, that's usually how it is. They'll go with like pop culture references and whatever is going on currently in the state of the world. And there's some stuff that's like kind of like eh, but like most of it's pretty funny. And I'm just glad to see the show back. So in celebration, I had to go with the old school Hello Nurse background. <laughs> And that's from the uh, Animaniac game, which is also very fun to play, which I was going to do a review on, but I have to re-burn the CD just because the uh, CD that I had originally for it, I burned it and it got tossed into a bag and it's like all scratched up and it just doesn't really work well. But we're good about this Mac here. You can see it's running 10.39. It's the 466 megahertz model, which... which when I turned it on and I saw that, because I was like, I saw the firewire and stuff, but I hadn't like really researched these things in a long time. Because I was like thinking, I'm like, oh, there's the graphite model that's like 366 or 33 megahertz or some, something like that. There's the smaller processor one that's graphite. And then there's this one, which is the special edition, which is basically the rarest one to get. Um, so one of the rarest ones out of them and yeah i was very pleased to have this because i've never had a 466 megahertz one i've only had 300 megahertz ones before so this was very interesting to get and it does have only 192 megabytes of ram which is unfortunate but i will plan on upgrading that it's a pretty cheap upgrade i think that's like ten dollars on ebay to get a stick of pc 100 or 133 ram to upgrade it to Five, or put a 512 stick in there and upgrade it to its max. So we're going into, I was gonna go into the hard drive because that was another thing I looked at when I got it because I was hoping, I was praying that maybe somebody upgraded it. But obviously, no, it's just a standard 10 gigabyte hard drive that came with it. And I guess it's better than getting a three gigabyte. I think that came with the original, it was either three or six. It's very small. So 10 is not too bad. Um, as you can see, there's only 2.68 gigabytes available, so not too much space to work with. Obviously, if I just ended up throwing like OS 9.1 like or something on here, I would probably free up some space to do some more stuff on. But, um, yeah, it's nothing too crazy. And I think I might have a game on here we can load up real quick. But as you can see, the battery up here, it says 99%. This is batteries charged, I'll unplug it, but it will last maybe like 20 minutes and it will just go from like, it'll be like saying like 75% and then it will basically go to zero and then it will turn off. And one of the things I wanted to use on here was 10.4 Fox, but um, for some reason I can't get it to load on here. I don't know what I did wrong exactly. I don't even know why I'm opening it because I don't have anything connected to it right now anyway, so it wouldn't really open up to anything. But browser-wise, I'm using Camino, which I know is incredibly out of date. It's one of the only ones I can manage to get on it because a lot of these websites, a lot of the websites don't work. They have a security issue with them, connecting to them. And Camino is the only browser I could get actually into to download and it works okay i mean obviously i'm not really using this for web surfing or anything like that more of anything just to play some old games on possibly and then you know do some maybe like text uh, uh typing on it because this is one of the <laughs> this is a really good computer to type on but as you can see here um I actually did throw, and I've been transferring files to this in the most janky way I could possibly do it, because I don't have a flash drive, believe it or not, I don't. But I've been using an iPod video to transfer files from this from my computer, because this has a Rockbox installed on it. And basically when I load it in, it just basically looks like a uh, normal flash drive. So I can just load files on it, 
put it to here and then load all the games, anything I want on it. And I actually did put, um, I did load Visual Boy Advance because there's a working version that you can use for these iBooks or with OS 10.3 and it doesn't work very good. And I think the Game Boy, I remember a while ago, I remember I had a Game Boy emulator on here and the original Game Boy, like Game Boy, Game Boy Color actually I think runs fairly decent. It's just J uh, Game Boy Advance does not work at all. But I just wanted to see it, just to test it out because I hadn't done it in such a long time. But uh, let's see, here we go. We can load up Jazz Rabbit, uh, Jazz Jack Rabbit 2, which is a very fun 2D platformer. Which I'll probably end up playing after I make this video. As you see, it has the one speaker there and it's alright, but it does okay for being one little speaker. And we'll go ahead and just use this real quick while it's loading, because I don't think I can. Oh. I don't know if I can skip this, because um, I forgot if you could or not. Oh yeah, here we go. I'm sorry you're doing this with one hand. <laughs> I'll load into a game here just to get quick. And obviously it runs fairly well. I could figure out what the button is to jump. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> as you can see, it runs pretty good. I mean, obviously, this is an older game for this computer anyways, but if I actually had a tripod, I'd be able to play the game a little bit more, but showing you what it can do. And there's another game on here. I have Corpse Killer, which was a, I think, a game on the um, Sega CD at one point, but um, yeah, I have a couple different games I'm planning on doing some more. And really, I'm just going to probably use this for typing with, just because I've been looking for something just to be able to type on, other than my main computer. And uh, I do have a short video series, or possibly a longer video series involving this and typing, which I think will be kind of like a more, um, not really a review or anything like that. It's more of a... Um, I guess, what do they call it, ASMR type deal that I'll be doing with the iBook, strangely enough. So that's something to look forward to in the future when I do that. But um, other than that, it's not too much else to see that I don't really have that much stuff on here as of right now. Um, but I will be making some more videos. Like I said, I have that series coming out with this computer I'll be doing. And then also possibly potential updates on upgrades like the RAM and then the battery. If I can get $80 to buy the battery, that's a pretty big purchase to buy a battery, but hey, might be worth it. So with that said, I'll see you guys later and hopefully see some more videos soon. Peace.